All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to the second season of All the Mods 9. That's right, guys, we're starting season two. And the reason why we're starting season two is because there's just so many new mods that have been added since we started our season one that we agreed that uh, just for the ore generation and not having to travel thousands upon thousands of blocks to get new resources for the new mods, it would just be better for us to restart. And that gives an opportunity for you yourself to join. All you gotta do is become a member uh, of the channel and uh, become an iron team member or more and then you can join the server just message me and uh, there's actually a, a video link in the description of this video on how to join but anyways guys let's get started i'm gonna go ahead and do a live stream just to get through the uh just the basics of you know the beginning of uh, modded minecraft and i think that's something i'm gonna try to do in the future going forward is live stream uh the preparation between episodes so it should give you guys a little bit of insight into the episode uh so i think you guys will really like it but anyways uh let's go ahead and cut to after the live stream Alrighty, so um yeah we did a live stream in between the first clip and now and we basically just got all of the basics set up um, we did grind a bit and we got some silk touch on a pickaxe. Um, I'll show you here. It's through silent gear. And how we did that is we utilized this tip upgrade blueprint. Uh, and when you utilize that on some amethyst, it will give you silk touch. Um, I'm trying to show you. Yeah, so amethyst shards, you combine it with this guy and then you just combine it in a two by two crafting window and you get silk touch. And that is how we're gonna get these mob spawners today. So the cool thing is, is I have found a cave fairly close by. Um, here we go, found a cave and there is a, for one, a heck ton of iron um, here. Very good, that was a full stack. We've got quite a few people on, so there's uh, a bit of lag going on. And a super special shout out to MC Pro Hosting, the sponsor for the modded member server. Um, yep, they are amazing. Use uh, code Turtle Club down in the checkout if you buy a server to get 15% off your first month. I highly recommend them. Their customer service is uh, the best I've ever experienced for a server. I highly recommend them. I used them long before uh, they were a sponsor. So I highly recommend them to you guys. All right, so what we're looking for is something kind of like this. This is a lodestone underneath it uh, is a spawner, and then below that is a chest. And we're looking for the spawner. If you mine a spawner with a silk touch, um, the Apothesis mob allow, a mod allows you to pick it up as a spawner. So we can place it down, and we can basically turn anything we want into a mob farm. Any, any spawner we see, we just break it. So, yeah, right there, we got ourselves a spawner. So we can come over here, spawns in zombies. The zombies got us. This guy's walking in with a record player on his back. Gotta kill these guys real quick. Okay, I mind it. <laughs> but they will stop spawning in, hopefully. And our goal today, one of them, there we go, grab those. Them, them being lagged out is kind of awesome. Okay, and there was a boss here, but I think the boss despawned, which is rather unfortunate, but they did leave some goods. So we're gonna take those. Yeah, we got a spawner under here. This is another zombie spawner. Pick it up, and then this one here, spider spawner. We can check the loot, nothing good. Check the loot. Hey, some diamonds. We'll take those. Actually, there's a block of iron in here as well. Okay, there's a cave spider one. The cool thing is, is that some of these chests, while they do have really good loot, some of them actually um, have sp like spawn eggs in them. So we can change the spawner to whatever we want. So I'm just running around here, picking up all the ones I see. This is a zombie one. Oh my, that was our pickaxe, whoops. All right, so there we go, we're back. And it is a blood moon, so we can't just sleep the night away. But good, now we have uh, way too much items to store. 
Okay, so as you can see here, we have three creeper spawn eggs. We even got an enderman spawn egg. Um, let's see, we should have a couple more around here. We got some slime, enderman, skeleton, spider, uh, parrot spawn eggs. We can spawn in parrots if we wanted to. We may keep that around just for that. Uh, zombie spawn eggs, more creeper. So we, we can automate gunpowder, we can automate bones, we can automate leather because we can turn it in. We can get ender pearls from endermen. So yeah, we, we are very, very much set. Um, so we need to look into a way. Do we have any spikes? We do, we've got these guys, iron spikes, but do we have, oh yeah. Okay, we got a mob masher. This is what we're gonna be utilizing. Um, that's not it. This guy, mob masher. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and create one of these guys real quick. Okay, so we're gonna need three diamonds. We've got plenty. We're gonna need lots and lots of iron and a couple pieces of wood. So we'll take it, we'll create, actually we need to make quite a few swords. All right, there we go. I think all we need now is a block of redstone which is actually something we don't have too much of compared to the other things, I feel like. Cool. <clears throat> All right, block of redstone. Crack. Yeah, we got that. <clears throat> Bob Masher. And we can increase the sharpness on it, making it kill them very quickly. You can also put looting on there, which is good. Okay, we'll worry about that in later. Okay, so uh, do we have any of the cheap fans? Got this guy, not cheap. Um, we do have quite a few slime balls right now. I say quite a few, I mean 14, but we have a bunch of slime spawn eggs. I almost wonder. Can I get like a big one to spawn in? That's fairly. Got two more. 19. Huh, we got two from using a pickaxe. That's funny. Okay. So we're gonna turn one of these, uh, we'll do this one, yeah. This guy down, click that, now we got a slime. Oh, I can't pick that back up. Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay, so we're gonna make, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the silk touch guy. You just take a diamond tool, put it in here, that turns it into the silent gear version, and then you can do that. So now we got silk touch on this one. Oh, interesting. Spawn count two, max entity is 10, activation range, spawn range seven. Okay, so we combine this, and now we've got ourselves a slime spawner. So that's how we change them. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a skeleton one now, slime zombie, skeleton spawner, good. And then do an enderman spawner. We have enderman, skeleton, and slime. Very good. Still a blood moon. Okay. So we have the spawners now. We have these. Let's look into these guys, the vector plates. So we need sugar and blackstone. Well, we have needed to go to the nether. There is this, a bug in the nether um, that a certain mob can spawn and crash the world, which is not fun. But we have had, we, we fixed it before. We can fix it again. Put it in the wall back here. Okay, let's see where this takes us out. Okay, not too bad. We got instantly a bunch of glowstone. We're gonna take that. Okay, there's another portal over there. Just looking for blackstone. Got some right there, good. Um, okay, let's make ourselves a bridge across the lava good okay blackstone blackstone good okay sorry i'm not sure whoops okay <clears throat> so now that we have this we can do this we also set up some of these guys so now we have a full stack there okay so Vector plates have a vector. Okay, so just for right now, we're gonna set up the skeleton spawner um, because 
we just need to not to get the, the loot. We just need the levels. And we need a lot more stuff in order to... We need a lot more materials in order to fully automate the mob farm. So we're just going to start off with with skeletons. Hey, look at that. The blood moon is going away. Okay, so what I'd like to do is actually hide most of this in the mountain. Okay, so we'll have... The landing chamber here. Uh, we'll have this here. Okay. We'll go up one, two, go up a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this will be the platform. So one, two, three, one. Okay, so I've cleared out the room here. Oh, no, actually, I don't want um, Let's use cobble. So we want three blocks here. Then we want the spawner. I'm going to go up with the gravel. And then we can come down to the spawner over here. Cool. Okay. So we can put some sugar on it. <laughs> kind of funny to say. Okay, so a bunch of sugar, and now the minimum spawn delay is 20. So they should spawn in fairly quickly. Um, now the only thing left for us to do is to place these like so. Oops. Okay, so the only thing left now is to break these guys. Okay. Spawner is active. I would like to swap these out there we go so essentially we just go afk here and we get all the levels we could ever need very cool we'll let that go for a bit come back and collect some materials let's work on some sharpness okay so in order to get sharpness we need quite a few swords we need a total of 40 swords um yeah because four times ten so that is not enough um, is this going to go through all of the iron that we possess it just might. But now we can make 40 swords. Okay. So that also means that we need lots of gold that I don't know if we have. Oh, yeah, we do. We're good. Okay. And then some redstone, which we only need 10 of. So we're good. Okay. One down. Nine to go. Perfect. So we have a little bit. Actually, we need one more. So we need two more swords. And now we can make our final sharpness upgrade. It's very important that we do not run into this thing because it will kill us now in like three hits. So it should kill them very, very quickly. <laughs> like it is good. So cool. Um, this is working good. We have ourselves an XP farm. We can put looting on it as well. Uh, I don't know if we have fortune yet but hey that's not too bad we can start getting some some high level enchants here with our new farm which is awesome um so vacuum chest we don't have the ability to make absorption hopper we have no way of getting a blaze just yet um well i mean we could do it that way Ender pearl, coal powder, redstone powder, gunpowder. We should have all of those. Here, here. I have killed quite a few creepers. I don't know if I've been able to pick up the gunpowder. Okay, yeah, we don't have the ability to make that either. Which is fine, because if we go out of range, the spawner is no longer active. It's only active when we're close is also good okay so i do need to grab some spruce because i'm gonna make a door uh, spruce logs cool all right so we make a oof make a door and a bunch of trap doors so then we go like boom 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 like so just like that 
so now this is sealed in. We can put some torches in here. Um, like so. And we are safe from the outside elements. Actually, I want to... Yeah, I want to put a torch in here and then here. Booyah! So this is looking great. Um, we just sit here AFK and the skeletons go in. Very good. Okay, so I want to grab some more redstone here. We're going to make a couple of clocks. Uh, da, 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 da. We can make eight clocks. Now these bring down the maximum time for a spawner. So with these upgraded. Okay, so now we're going to go click, 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 click. So I can only do it. I could only do it. Oop, perfect. Cool, okay. So these guys should be spawning in quite fast. That seems pretty good. We're already at a level 30 enchant. Let's go ahead, throw our sword in here. Severing, XP boost. That's okay. Cool. So I'm gonna go AFK for a bit and I'll be back. Okay, let's go through some quests here real quick. Kill 50 zombies. Yeah, we definitely got that. What did... We got some botany pot. Hopper botany pots for that. Awesome. Okay. So that's really helpful. I think it might be also equally, if not more, helpful to... But oh, we don't we have enough sticks. To create some iron chests. So like this and like this. And we get ourselves oak chests for sophisticated storage. Then we go here like so. We wrap these around. We can finish them off. Now we have eight iron chests. Can we put these here? Oh, you can. Okay, so now we break this whole side. Good. Cool. So that literally gave us so much more storage, it's not even funny. Um, let's see. Yeah, where's a hammer? There we go, so we can get 46 more. And then we can bind these all together. Get a couple more. Hmm. Okay, so do we have an upgrade so that we can just click a chest? Ah, okay. Iron to gold tier upgrade. That's that. Okay, that is super simple. So two of them can be upgraded to gold tier. Here we go. There's even more storage for those guys now. Um, yeah, we're just waiting on the iron to be done smelting. I wonder. Just some cobblestone in there, huh? So if I want to do this, upgrade them tier two. Okay, so these have been upgraded. We can put... Actually, we'll put this in here and this in here. We could even go to diamond this requires a redstone torch in there all right now these are awesome even more so cool we should probably make a full thing of diamond armor get some pants there we go now we are protected these i think give step assist somehow which is cool now we come here and just wait. We can enchant them. Good. That did not take long at all. I think it was like six skeletons died. So we'll take the chest plate off, put it here. Oh my gosh. Projectile protection five. Protection four. I'm breaking four. Wow. Okay. That is an OP chest plate. What are you? Protection three. Okay. All right. So we got another 30 levels, and I would like to see if we can get Fortune 3. Because if I could go through with Fortune on some of those materials, oh man, would it be great. So, ah, it's a bummer. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we'll just have to see. But one more thing I wanted to go ahead and do is I want to get a second spawner in there. Um, it's a broken one. This is a zombie spawner. I don't have to 
break it or anything. Cave spider. We're going to change that to a creeper spawner real quick. Okay. Whoa. It's a cave spider and creeper. We'll do it outside during the daytime. Boom. Boom. Creeper. Grab. Yeah. We'll put these directly on top of the skeleton one. Okay. So we're going to get the creeper and zombie spawner in here now. So creeper, the zombie, and then we'll put these up here so none of them can spawn in accidentally. Okay, so now all of these are being lined up. And we'll break this guy. And we'll go bing, bing. Okay, what I didn't want was for a skeleton to shoot a creeper or a zombie and blow up. So we're up to a great start already. And I just came up with a good idea in order to save us. And I want to mine this. Yes, give us a little bit more headroom. We're going to steal this. Actually, this is my idea. Uh, I do need a little bit of redstone because I want to put I want to put the signal in the wall to turn the farm on or off. One second. Okay, so let's get this bad boy wired up. So we'll turn this off for now. And this will go here. This will go here. And this will go here. Good. Okay. And we want the torch. We just want it on the wall here to turn it on or off. So like so. I need to use this pickaxe because that one's about to break. Nope, I want it like this. Okay, so it needs to run like so. So now this is working. Yep, and we can't get hit by it accidentally, maybe out through the corner. No, oh, yep. Okay, do not touch it on the corner. <laughs> okay, so I got this thing pretty much looking how I would like it to look. Um, we can place this here, this here, and this here. Yeah, so now looks really good. Um, I would I eventually will put like probably a couple of two by two drawers on this side to collect all the items. But we are getting some really, really good XP levels through this. And, you know, just put some spruce trap doors. Trap doors. Um, so kind of kind of interesting. In case we need to turn it off, get in there. We have the ability to. Um, not sure why. But this also allows me, like, if we ever need to get kills for something. Um, or if ever we needed to do that. I don't know why we would do that. But it allows me... To, to do that, which is cool. So, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video and you're excited for the series, please make sure to hit the like button, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.